welcome. Here we are on a very foggy morning. Welcome to Transnistria, which is uh, this is sandwiched the independent state. They call themselves the Predistorian Republic of Moldova or something along those lines. And it is sandwiched between Moldova and Ukraine. In this country, in this region, whatever you would call it, depending on where you live in the world, I have to go and draw out specific Transnistrian rubles because they don't take your card here. They don't take uh, Moldovan lil, and they may take euros. I haven't tried yet, but I go to go and convert these. The store, they're usually all around, scattered around town where you can convert. Really easy, just give over your cash. 25 rubles is about a pound. But look at that, we're already in the pretty much the center of Tiraspol, which is the capital of the Transnistria region. It's pretty beautiful, right? I mean, it is a very modern place. I say very modern. There are obviously some places which need to be reconstructed. See, this building's pretty modern. There's a little shop just there. And uh, these cars should stop for me. I say should. There we go. Very nice. It is like being back in England when they do that. Number two, I'm going to try and take you into a cafe or cafes. I can show you the prices, the lowdowns of this country. It's surprisingly cheap. You think what cheap is in your country. And then you come across to these countries in the ex-Soviet Union. And you're like, whoa, shit me. This is fucking cheap. Like you could literally have two beers, a pizza, and what else. You could probably have a dessert as well for about $5. So when you think we have it hard in our country, think about the wages which people are on in this country. I'm not just Transnistria, but Moldova in general. Up to $300, $200, US dollars a month. That says it all. I mean, people in the foreign countries make that every week or maybe even under a week. It's amazing how uh, different it is. Only two hours away, three hours away from my uh, home country in the UK. Something's uh, unbelievable. And I think yeah, this is a thing where people do need to experience in uh, Western society. Western society, let's be honest, everyone's a bit of a fucking copycat. What shall we go on holiday? Where shall we go? Let's go to fucking Spain. Let's go fucking Portugal. Let's go to these places which everyone goes to because I can say I've been there. I can tell my friends about it. I can do all this shit. How about you actually change your decision for once? You know, just book it. Just do something different. Maybe you'll have a really special time, especially one that you won't forget because who can say to themselves or to their friends that they have been to Moldova, or especially Transnistria. Another thing, so when I entered or crossed the fake border, as they call it, so you will have to be escorted off the bus, which I was, and you'll have to get a, give them your passport, which you need, and they'll fill out a little piece of paper for you. You need to show where you're staying and how long for, and then they'll give you your passport back with a little slip, and then you walk to the other side of the border and get on the bus with all your fellow Moldovans. Transnistrians or uh, other foreigners. There were other foreigners on the bus as well. Did not take you into here. It, it it is a weird feeling here. It doesn't feel like it's a, a real place. That's probably the best way to say it. Here's an example. Exchange 15 currencies. Look, you can even exchange your GBP. You can exchange your Chinese yen, your Czech Republic, whatever you call it. Your Turkish lira, your Russian rubles, Ukrainian lu, Romanian lu, Swiss francs. You can change everything here. Even euros. I'd rather go to a small independent one who probably need the money more. Like I said, average wage here is pretty shocking. But, uh, he went through a red light. I'm gonna exchange a five euro note. I got scammed by a taxi driver on my first day. So uh, classic EU standards there. There's the little window. There we go. So five euros, see how much this gets me. Oh, pretty good. Oh. So five euros, I think that'll get me about a hundred. Not too short to be honest. But here it comes. You can't get this currency anywhere else, of course. Only in this country. Спасибо, Hasselania. 
So there we go, I have it. How much do I have? Not too much, but let's see. 50, 60, 75, 80. I got 83 and a half Transnistrian rubles from a five euro note. So now let's go and spend it. Check out this long pathway. Everything is uh, it's very parallel and perpendicular in this city. So I'm here today. I'm not here to educate you on the history of places. I'm not a historian. I'm not great at that. I'm here to educate you on the now and the potential future. Ah, oh, look at you, you're cute. Well, three of you. You got one, two, and three behind. I don't know if they're stray, maybe, but there's been a lot of cats around here, a lot of cats in Moldova. Seems to be a very cat-friendly place. So if you do love cats, then do come here just for that. So if you look at these cars, they've got the Transnistrian flags, all of them. So there are number plates. This one hasn't, don't know why, but they pretty much all have their own number of plates in this little district. Found a cafe with loads of uh, pastries. Question is which one am I gonna get? Oh, it's a... Da, da. Yeah. Yo, this is the currency, okay? So, one. I mean, these are singles. I'm gonna take some back with me because souvenir, you can only get them in this country. I mean, I don't know who that is, but the Transnistria found it 30 years ago. So, well, that's a pretty true place. Very fluffy lad. Very sweet, very sweet, holy shit. Good cheers. Yeah? And then love whatever love is in, Ta in um, Russian and Tiraspol. But there is the river, the Nestra River. I think that is how you pronounce that. And there's one special thing about this river. I didn't see it last night, it was too dark. And I only just figured out where it is on Google Maps. So we're gonna take a quick, I think 30 seconds longer to get there. But there it is, I can see it. I didn't see it last night, but I can see it today. Moldova has a beach. There it is. And the river, of course. Sorry, I'm just staring at a train coming in the middle of the path. I'll show you. Oh, there we go. It stops right in front of me. There's some little toy cars. I guess it's the start of the work day today for them. Let's head on to the memorial. Ooh, there's a little cat here. Oh my God, you've only got one eye. I feel really bad for you. I can't do anything about your other eye, mate. Yeah. That was a cat with one eye. Not nice. I'm not gonna touch it, because last time I touched a stray dog or a stray cat, the dog bit me. I had to pay about 200 pounds for rabies jabs in Thailand. So I'm gonna avoid doing that for sure. So that flame's been burning 24 seven. It does not stop burning in the center of the, the star in the middle. I'm not sure who the people are. I can read it, but I still don't understand what the words mean maybe a few but and it seems all the burials are at the top as you head towards the back wall where i guess all the names are and the tank let's go and see the tank there isn't really a age on this tank so i can't tell you how old this is there aren't too many places that are do tank memorials anymore. I don't really see any in Britain. Anything from World War II, there isn't too much left. 
it's like we've wanted to move on from that. Transnistria, I get it, you want to become Russia, but you're nowhere near Russia. You're stuck in between Ukraine, you're stuck in between Moldova. I'm trying to recultivate the place, which they, they've done to an extent. The back roads, it does really show the, the lack of work done here. I mean, the, the main road, yeah, it's beautiful for a, a little town, tourist spot, but for what I've seen in the past 24 hours, it seems I am in a, a mythical town, mythical money, mythical government, economy. I mean, the whole city and the whole, I think, place is run by the uh, football team, the FC Sheriff Tiraspol. That's what it looks like to me. And there is a statue over there of a man on a horse. There has to be always a statue of a man on a horse. This 1940s looking tractor still going to this day. They're putting down Christmas trees actually for uh, December. So not long now, I guess, till uh, Christmas. So this is like uh, the little local market. Put ladies in lingerie, more ladies in lingerie. Change of money, flowers, some nice garden statues. I will expect them to be a bit busier today, being a Saturday. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, the weekend market in Chattachok in Thailand. A little, all these stalls, big teddy bears, slippers. That's something I need to buy actually. But I won't buy here. Fruit, haircut, paintings, even more fruit. Salon, there's an upside down McDonald's logo here. They got quite a few things here. Bakery, mobile phone, maybe? Yeah, quite a few things. And uh, women's underwear, again. Here we are with the, my Airbnb, I'll show you. I went for something local and classic. Missed it, but uh, tag, pull. You wait for this elevator. You think you've seen a small elevator before in life. I mean, it wasn't working this morning. It's working today. Look at this, look at this. It says it's eight, uh, 18 floors, but there's only nine. Oh my God, it's like a horror movie. No, no. Ah. Key. Not the fastest. It's not bad for an old elevator. One, two, three. And in we come. Welcome to the Airbnb. Shoes off. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so, I mean, I slept on my bed, of course. Television, nice wallpaper. It is actually a sofa bed, it's been pulled out. A little on the harder side, but still not bad. My wash stuff, clothes, etc. In here, you've got the beautiful yellow themed bathroom. It's actually not a bad shower. I was expecting like a real bad shower, but it's not bad at all. Hello. And kitchen, well, I'm not sure what this is. This is just a seating area. So I do my work. Kitchen, this is the kitchen, 100%. The view's not bad, eighth floor. Dining table with the fridge. But no, it's pretty beautiful. Especially when the sun sets over there. It was there last night. It's annoying I didn't film that, but maybe tonight it will be out or to later today. But that concludes my Airbnb tour for 15 pounds a night, I think it was. So not bad at all. So I'm going to end the video here in a nice little coffee shop, which I found first thing when I came in yesterday when I needed Wi-Fi to get to my Airbnb. But appreciate for watching and uh, I will see you next time in another random part of the world. So keep watching, keep subscribing, every little thing helps and see you later. 
I don't believe the trains are running or not working so it's pretty dead but it's a cool view especially when the sun's out typical and now on to Kishinyar <laughs> 